Howard Stern to join the Trump cabinet? Artie Lang 2024? Stuttering John, Bruce Springsteen, all the things that's been talked about before on the uh, Stern Show. We're here to talk about them today. Welcome in. Hello. How are you? I can't see. Yeah, no, I was uh, just saying hello to Lance and anyone else coming in as uh, I'm wearing my Bob Gibson Cardinal jersey. I got to move in a little closer. I can't see you. Let's get that Artie Lang update. All right, let's see. I don't have one. Does anyone have one? <laughs> that's my... I'm sorry. Sorry there, Fob Farmer. Um, there's nothing. And I've gone to the Twitter... You know, to look and see. I've gone to his Cameo. He used to put stuff on Cameo. There's nothing there. We need to hear from Artie Lang before the year is out, or I'm going to be very worried. Folks that uh, that I was having conversations with and saying, you know, what's going on? They said, yeah, May, June, he's going to come out and he'll start a podcast back up. He's probably going to do some stand-up. Um, and you'll see him tweeting again, but... Uh, most people say no news is good news. I don't know. Just Brian Phelan was on here last week saying J even Jim Florentine. People he knows well. He didn't talk to By the way, Jim Florentine's coming to St. Louis. I'm going to try to get him on this here program. I don't think he's going to do it anymore. I think he's had enough of me. He's been on four times. And each time I ask him about Robin. And I think he's sick of that. So I don't know if we're going to see uh, Jim Florentine on the show. But um, Hello, and if you're just joining and coming in, say hello. This is my Bob Gibson jersey, you know. I don't wear this one a lot. I don't think I've ever worn it. Um, but it's got old number 45 on the bar there. You know, he's the one guy, you know, I always said this. He's the one guy that I wish I would have seen pitch. Hey, King. Yeah, Artie. I mean, I don't want to be, uh, I don't want to make this a political show. But Matt Gates was just named Secretary of State. It's going to be a shit show. But hey, this is what everyone voted for. Uh, Hardy's a good man. I hope he's doing well wherever he is. That's me too. We all do. And uh, that's why we come here. We come to say hello to all the folks coming in and saying hello. Um, I've got a few things I'd like to talk about. And uh, you can tell me what you'd like to talk about today. That's what we do here. I, I, don't hog, I don't hog the spotlight. I let you tell me what you want to talk about. And I wear a Cardinal jersey Hoping people come in and go, what, is this guy going to talk baseball? Yes, I will. How about, how fun is this that the Dodgers I'm just going to keep picking up every high-priced player? You're not going to see your team get that player. I love it. Oh, K -K Kasatsi coming over from Japan. There's going to be a posting fee. And there's who's going to get him? Oh, the Dodgers got him. Juan Soto's going out for free agency. He, all the teams, every team's available to him. I'm going to talk. The Dodgers will get Juan Soto. Who, just name another one. Babe Ruth, Walter Johnson. Oh, they're Dodgers now. They're all Dodgers. What a shit show. Anyway. Hi, everybody. Thank you. Let's go. Yeah, Brewers got a chance. Oh, yeah, Brewers got a definite chance. We all got a chance. You know what, the Dodgers and Yankees? I don't know about baseball these days, folks. I don't know. Brewers fans, have you noticed that uh, your TV deal went away? And now you'll have no money coming in from that? Go Cubs. So at least you guys have a good TV deal. But uh, not happy about any of it. I'm not happy about any of this. It's been a bad day. So I decided to come up. I was saying this earlier that uh, I lost some stuff. I, I have these Amazon plugs that I use for the uh, for the, for the uh, for the Christmas. So we put the tree up. You know, I like to just be able to click a button and have the tree go on. I can't find them. I have no idea where they are. I've been looking for them for an hour and long. Red Sox. Yeah, so do the Dodgers. Of course, King. Hello and welcome. By the way, if you're a member, which I believe, King, you are, you're going to be getting a special members-only video. So we've got a few members. And uh, YouTube is putting out a little promotion for uh, for folks that have members. And so let me know what you would like to see as a member. Because only the members are going to see this video. I remember I learned the McDonald's sandwich for breakfast, the McGriddle. I like the McGriddle. Remember when they brought those in? People really was, was really excited about that. Three-way interview, John, Scott, and Jackie. John, Stuttering John, Scott DePace, and Jackie. I can't imagine those three are getting together. But... Uh, and Red Sox. What are the Red Sox doing? And by the way, you're a Red Sox fan, Doug? Hi, Doug. We've got Kime Bloom here in St. Louis. What do you think of him? How's he going to be? Now, he can't run the team yet. We still have to get through this year for the former president um, to get through. But anyway, don't hate us because you ain't. Oh, shut up, Doc. Yeah, let's just don't hate us because this is bullshit. This ain't even fair. I mean, it's fine, win, whatever. But this is what baseball is going to be. Fine. Then people probably will stop watching. Uh, our... Artie would probably go to Bubba or Stuttering John. But I don't think he's going to Stuttering John there, uh, Muttering Jay. I like that name, though. It's funny. 
How is DePace doing? I haven't heard from DePace. DePace has been on this program. I've tried to get him on again. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But hello. Uh, I'm a Cubs fan, and you look like my gay name. Oh, oh that's not nice. You Cubs fans. No anyway, I'm not getting into that. That's not nice, though. That's not nice at all. Um, Let's see here. Let's see. I got to order my dinner. Let's, of course. That's all I need. Um, how is the pacing? I'm a Cubs fan. All right. So, uh, welcome in. If you're just saying hello, we got a nice big crowd coming in early today. Thank you for joining. And again, I was telling you about my memberships and we have super chat. So if you're in there, I stop whenever someone asks about Sparky King Sparky's upstairs. He's barking. I was going to bring him down today, but he seemed comfy, but Sparky amazing folks. No longer going to, there he is. Sparky. Sparky. He doesn't bark on demand. He's not a show dog. Yeah, he says that to me. He's like, I'm not your show dog, but Sparky is doing wonderful, and thank you for asking, King. Um, so again, welcome in. So I had a, I had a few thoughts. I went to see Larry David in Chicago this uh, last weekend, and he was funny, and I enjoyed it. And so I'll talk about that in a little bit. Is it true you think Steeled? I don't, I don't know what that means. Muttering Jay, I don't know what that means. Uh, so saw Larry David in, uh, in Chicago. I've traveled a budge this, uh, this, this last couple months. And the, my alarm clock went off both times in the last two travels while I was sleeping. And it pissed me off. I got up and threw that fucker across the room. I'm like, God damn it. Why are there alarm clocks in hotel rooms? What's the deal with the alarm clocks in the hotel? Doesn't everyone have a phone and just use their alarm? Let's get rid of alarm clocks. If I'm running for president. Let's think of what would I do if I was right. First thing first, um, there'd be no speed limit. That's first. No speed limits. And if you're in the wrong lane, you, you are uh, open to be shot at. I would like to move you out of my lane. Then I want no alarm clocks in my hotel rooms. Okay? I don't want any damn alarm clocks. Uh, thoughts on Stuttering John's current life. I have to be honest. I have not been following. I, I mean, I see that he's, uh, I think he's having issues. And I don't, I don't know if I want to really comment on folks having kind of real issues. You know, if it was just an issue. But I think he's having real issues. And I don't know if it's good to be, uh, I don't know, dabbling in a dabble verse. You can dabble in that. Can I interview uh, uh, Grillo again? I will work on getting Grillo on. He, I think last, let me work on that. Grillo. Let me write that down in my book no, notebook. And uh, maybe that'll be my members only video. Or maybe we'll get him on live. You know, if you saw last week, we had Bri Brian Phelan on live. And we let folks ask him questions. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Uh, Brian is awesome. And we might do more of that with Brian. Brian's just a good dude. Don't you think Brian is just a, just a normal guy? I don't know. That's what I got out of it. Why doesn't Stern retire already? Muttering Jay asks. You know, it is funny. I do uh, check out the Reddit page there on the uh, Howard Stern Reddit channel. And everyone just sits and bitches about it. Oh, this is the same show he did five years ago. Why am I listening? And then I do wonder, why. one, why are you listening? And two, why are you posting about it? You know, I haven't really listened since 2010. Uh, once Artie left, I stopped listening. Uh, I would check out the interviews. Um, but I just thought there was the component of uh, Artie. Artie needed to be there. And he's not there anymore. Um, and then people just keep listening. And so I would go get that... Uh, I'll go get that... Um, app for like, you know, three months, I'll get the free thing. And um, it's terrible, that show. Sorry. Hi, did you hear Jerry on WFAN? Jerry Seinfeld? I did not. I, did, I don't know if that was today or not. Where'd you get that jersey? I want one. Sans Nike logo. Is there a Nike logo on it? I, I don't think there is. Um, we may have bought these from, or maybe I was gifted this from someone who got it from China for 20 bucks. There was a site, and I'm sure it's still out there. Uh, but this old job I used to have, it, we would go and just start buying old classic jerseys. I had about 10 of them. I had like a Nolan Ryan, all of my, kind of my favorite players. Who else did I have? I sold them. Uh, I decided to get rid of them and sell them on eBay back in the day. I kept the ones that I liked. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> a little, little hairball there. What happened to Elliot Often? Uh, I don't know. You tell me. I have not heard from him. I haven't seen him in a while. I just meant the only jerseys you can buy, they put a Nike. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, no, I mean, Nike has the contract. By the way, did you see, if you're a baseball fan, good news, breaking news, not really. The uh, All-Star game, the, the baseball players will actually wear the jerseys that they wear during the All-Star game. So none of this made-up batting practice jerseys 
during the All-Star game. They will still wear those, of course, during the Home Run Derby, but that's good. I think people needed that. Um, so that's what's going on there. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, alarm clocks. We also had an incident with the bread. Is anybody a clean freak out there? I'm not really a clean freak, um, but something happened during dinner, and I'm just curious, the, the, the tenor of the group here, which I'm guessing I understand the tenor of the group here. But we had a, a bucket of bread, well, a bowl of bread come out, and we ate it, and then they scraped the scraps from the table, like, I don't know, we just all kinds of scraps from the whatever, put it in the bowl with the, there was like a, a napkin, and they took our bowl from us. Then they took out bread from the bread thing, put it in that bowl and put it onto the next table. And I'm like, so they just put the, and, they, and the guy didn't have any gloves or anything. He was just <laughs> washing his hands, blowing his butter. That was a little strange. Yeah, I did. What do you think? 1-800-555. Welcome to Dredio. We'll take your call. Um, so I had that. I don't know if uh, people care about my bread discussion. I have other thoughts that I'd like to, to... Oh, did you get to see Chimp Crazy, by the way? Chimp Crazy, the lady, is from my hometown! Hey, congrats to St. Louis and... Fe I'm not from Festus, but she... I guess she lived in Festus. Tanya Haddix, this is on HBO Max. I guess a lot of people were watching this in August, the, the uh, Chimp Crazy show. I haven't finished it yet, but I'm fairly certain I know what happens. Um, uh, I, I sort of like this person. I don't... Is, am I weird to think, ah, I love animals. She loves animals. She loves them a little much. You know, breastfeeding a monkey is a weird thing. Um, calling it your child is, is a weird thing, probably. I don't know, we're going to have Tanya Haddix on, maybe. Would you like Would you like to see Tanya Haddix from Shim Crazy on? And have you seen it? What do you think of it? Please sit, Please continue to comment. As a, That's really all I do here is look at uh, what's going on in the chat. I have some ideas for myself. And then I talk to you. Don't forget about the super chat descriptions. Oh, but I'll get to that WNBA thought. And I have shirts. And I was going to wear this a couple days ago, and I forgot to. But my Hey Now shirt. Yeah, I made that. I designed that. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. And I've worn this thing a lot. And if you go to my description, you can see where to buy that shirt, along with my Boff shirt, 0, 0.0. You know what to do. Tell me what color you want. It's all there. Jason Tatum is trying to buy a WNBA team, or trying to bring, we trying to buy a WNBA team. Yeah, we don't have an NBA team. Did you see that, Gonzo? It took days, yes. Um, I'm not really a designer, but people love little shirts with things. It's like little sayings on them, right? Hey, now. So you can get that at uh, Printify. What, Ken? I'm boring. What? Lance, tell this guy what's up. Tell Ken what's up. What do you want to talk about, Ken? I don't want anybody to tell me I'm boring. I'm here just talking to you, and I'm letting you tell me what you want to talk about. Um, so, yeah, we're getting a WNBA team, whatever. Yeah, Tell him still alive. Let's go. Get him out of here. Tell him go. Tell him to go. I miss Joe Biden. Don't you miss Joe? Isn't it weird that he's still the president? Isn't it weird that he is still the president? I mean, where has he been? I don't watch. I don't watch anything. Uh, I read a disheartening article today. It just made me mad and um, made me mad about this whole thing. So I saw Larry David in person in Chicago, um, and it made me want to go back and listen to his interview with Stern. Do you guys remember? First of all, do we have any Larry David fans out there? I assume you have to be, right? I mean, he's the one of the funnier guys out there, I assume. He was great, great in person, great live. Yelled at a, <laughs> yelled at a guy in the audience. Talked about the uh, pretty, pretty, pretty good. I didn't know this is where it came from. So I guess when he was doing stand-up, he had a little bit in there that when you, um, you know, when your parents would come to your door, your mom or whatever, and you're having a bad day, you know, oh, it's red. It's blazing red. <clears throat> Gonzo. And your parents would come to your, your door, and, you know, you'd have to lie. Larry! You know, you'd try, you're like trying to commit suicide in there. Larry, how's everything going? It's good. It's good. It's pretty, pretty, pretty good. That was good. Larry's awesome. Yeah, I told a few good stories. Trying to think of the other one. That was good. Um, uh, almost asked him a question. and almost tried to get him on this show. He's not interested. Jeff, Jeff Garland, by the way, was going to be on this show. I have voicemail from Jeff Garland. Uh, yeah, I'm going to play that right now. This is Jeff Garland telling me that he was going to be on the show, and then uh, I have not heard back from him. But let me just play this for you. I like this. This is Jeff Garland calling me. Leaving a voicemail. It's Jeff Garland. I'm in. Here with my publicist. I'm talking to you. Bye. 
That was Jeff Garland. I don't know if you could hear that. And then he uh, had his little problem with the Goldbergs. And that was it. He was gone. But that was cool, huh? Uh, so, Larry David, that was fun. Let me see if I'm missing anything. Hi, Chris. Christopher. People tired seeing... Well, I don't know what you're saying. You met Larry David in Sonoma. He was a nice man. All right. That's good to hear, Gonzo. I, I'm happy to hear that, although I would rather him not be a nice man. It's kind of a guy that you want to not be nice, right? Like, if you meet him, don't you want him to yell at you? Susie Essman was part of this thing uh, in Chicago, and Jeff Garland. Susie, I guess, interviewed him the night before. And I was like, God, I just want to see these two yell at each other for like a half hour. I just want Susie and Jeff, just to, or Susie and, and Larry, to yell at each other. They did not. But, um, but yeah, I would, like, I would like it if he was uh, not a nice person to me. That'd be better. But I would like to type golf with, with Larry David. This is my plea. I'm pleading. Uh, have you ever reached out to Mark's friggin'? King says, I did. Uh, I wanted to have Mark's, uh, Mark Mercer. And uh, very polite, very nice, just said, nah, I'm not interested. I was shocked by that. I, I think he has so many. The man is the official biographer of the Stern Show from the glory years. And he, by the way, even he's like, I can't listen to this shit anymore. But I did ask to have Mark Sprigan on, and uh, he politely declined. Uh, thank you, Lance, for uh, uh, the Phelan uh, compliment. Brian was awesome. So um, we'll, do, we'll, we'll try to get Brian back on here again. Hopefully you saw that. If you didn't, I've posted some clips from that, and I'll continue to post clips. From, well, actually, will I? I probably won't. I think I'm done posting clips from that. Brad, what are your thoughts on Bob retiring from play-by-play? -play? Now, DW, I don't know if you asked this earlier in a different chat. I did notice this in my comments at one point, and I wanted to make sure um, that I got to this. So Bob Costas, I'm sure you're talking about. Um, um, probably time. I think it's time. Bob is uh, an interesting cat. I've worked with him, uh, an idol of mine as a child. He, grew, he was, like, working here in St. Louis for years. I got his autograph when I was, like, nine knew that he was at NBC. He was very nice to me as a young guy. Um, very meticulous, though, when you work with him. Very meticulous. And uh, as he's gotten older, I think he's gotten more meticulous. So interesting to see him getting out. Um, but I like that he sort of knows to get out now. Well, I mean, like, for me, I don't know Al Michaels that well. It feels like he's slipping a little, right? I mean, I watch a tiny bit of Thursday Night Football. I don't know how much Al's got left. I don't even know if Al cares to be there. But I, I think Al might have to say... I had to Al Michaels here. I want to let you know that uh, that was a totally farcical call. He is not there. He said something in code. God, Billy West did a wonderful Al Michaels. That was my me doing Billy West doing Al Michaels. Peter, that's a totally farcical call. Just want to let you know he said something in code to a radio announcer, and uh, he, he was not there. Baba buoy to you all. What made you stop listening to the HSS, Gonzo said? Well, I, I think, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, if you heard me or you were here, but welcome in, Gonzo. Uh, when Artie left, I, th I really was enjoying the Artie days, although at the end I was not really enjoying the Artie days. It was kind of a saga, and um, he was ruining interviews. And, and then after that, I'm like, well, who do I want to, I mean, really, what is there to listen to? And it just kind of kept going downhill, in my opinion. So that's when I stopped listening. Um, didn't didn't pick up Sirius back then. I think I was still getting free downloads. I don't remember really purchasing the show. I had a Sirius radio. I was I was one of the first to buy, so I had it on January nine. And then when they did those test shows, I'm like, holy shit, this is great. And uh, then I realized, oh shit, people are putting these things out there in the uh, in the old universe, so I can go get one. Um, DW. So that did I answer your question, DW? I can tell you more about Bob Costas if you'd like. I have a funny story. I don't know if I'm going to tell here. How? Hi, Lloyd. Um, no, natural. Not watching the Dabble verse. Um, not really into it. This is kind of a weird thing that's going on. Bob Levy left on. I'm going to try to reach out to him, see if he'll come on here. How is the Bally's of issue affecting the Cardinals, and how will you watch them? Lloyd asks. Um, well, thank you for asking, Lloyd. Are you a Cardinal fan? I know a lot about this. I can tell you all kinds of stuff about this. So tomorrow will be a big day if you are a fan and your team is on the fan duel, Bally's, whatever. Uh, the judge in the bankruptcy hearing will decide if it's uh, if they can get out of bankruptcy or he'll say this is not going to work. Now, the Cardinals, this is so strange to me. They just announced a deal last week. Hey, we're sticking with Bally. And why they did that is because they're going to get some more money up front still. Not as much as they used to, but they're still going to get some money up front. Plus, they did make a, a streaming deal for people, so now you can stream them. So they did stay to their word. But it's possible after tomorrow that deal will just, 
not even stick and they'll go into bankruptcy and I don't know what happens then. Um, but it's affecting their spending for sure. And it's going to affect uh, the Brewers, the Guardians, uh, a lot of the teams basically that don't have a deal and they're, they're with MLB. Any updates on gay, getting gay rich? Did I, DW, did you know that I try to get gay rich on this channel? So I've emailed him a couple times and I haven't heard from him. I don't even know if it's his email. Like it's been a long time since I haven't tried. Um, <laughs> I love Ross Tuck's spirit. You're such a kidder. Jeff Passon reports of the Cardinal sign Soto. I don't believe that for a second. Hugs from Harlem or hugs for Harlem. Hello, Harzu. When I saw you interviewing Bob Costas, I thought you couldn't get a bigger guest than you interviewed Scott DePace, the Apex. Thank you. I don't know who is the biggest guest. Um, but, you know, back in the day, I had, like, uh, Mickey Mantle, Johnny Benj, but the long-form interviews. Uh, I still need to get, yeah, well, DePace was sort of the Apex. I never listened to Opie and Anthony, bud. Hello and welcome in. Thank you for, for stopping by. Are you really Bud Bundy? I really enjoyed Married to the Children. But I never did. I never listened to, um, I never listened to Opie and Anthony. Um, not because I didn't like what they're, I just didn't get them here and I've heard what they do and it just seemed like they were imitators, but, um, everybody has an opinion. Do you ever meet Jack Buck or Joe Gonzo ask? Yes. Lots of times. Uh, Joe Buck has been incredibly nice to me. He's been on this podcast a few times. If you go back and search, uh, maybe I'll throw it out there again. And then Jack, when I was a kid, was a super nice man. Uh, let me see if I got that picture. Maybe I have the video. Do I have the video? Let's see if I have that. I probably don't, but I did uh, at one point sit in the booth with him. There's no way I find this. No chance. Hold on. See, this is what I do. I stop down now. Where am I going to find this? Will I find it? Where did I put it? I thought I put it on YouTube. Maybe I did. All right, everybody, hold on. Everybody just hold your horses. What about Joe Carter? You love Joe Buck and TMZ. That's his favorite website, I believe. That's what Artie said, right? What's your favorite website? Essence, sucking, whatever. What did he say? Is that what he said? I thought that's what he said. Hold on, everybody. Hold on. Where is it? Oh, I don't have it. Gosh darn it. Oh, I do. Here we go. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on, everybody. You want to see me with Jack Buck as a kid? Let's get some of his yeah. has a no it is, right. uh, this is me as 12 years old. Here. His name is Jack Buck. How you doing, Jack? How much do you have to pay to do this, huh? Pasquale Perez. Ball four! Mm. We got the power. She remember? Uh. Okay. I'm going to line says. Okay. I say something she wrong. She remembers that. I got to ask Jack Buck something. Do you have any cold, frosty ones for me? Okay. Got that Mike. That's me at 12 years old on a birthday? I don't know if anybody cares about that. Yeah, losing people. Um. So anyway, I was just going back to the comments. Let me see here. So I met Jack Buck a lot of times. Dodgers are going to be hard to beat next year. Yes. I saw that Lisa G got fired. I've asked Lisa G to be on here, and she de politely declined. Let's see if I have that um, correspondence with her. Because I thought I was close to having her on. i got to be honest. Glassberg? What's her name? Lisa G? Let's see. Look at this. Lisa G saying no to me. It's Lisa G. Oh, I should probably not show that, huh? Yeah, whatever. Uh, what about Joe Carter? Any events like Pascal Perez? I saw Mill Thompson. There was Milty in there. Brad, do you remember Friday nights after Cardinal Games or Camo X broadcast from the Mark Shannon's? Of course I do. Live at Shannon's. Um, miss those days. Those are the best shows ever because you had kind of a drunk announcer and a drunk former player. You guys like that, huh? You like that that clip? I don't know. I don't. That was so. So the Cardinals used to have this thing where you could you'd pay like thirty bucks and go and do like an inning, and then you'd get the tape. And you'd bring it home. My mom got me two innings. The first inning, nothing happened. Zero. The third inning, she even bought. She knew what innings to get because she's like, you don't want to do the first because nothing really happens. She got the third and the fourth, and in the fourth inning, Jack Buck came in because he was going to do some sort of promo read. 
And uh, um, that's Jack Buck came in. Pretty great. Brad, what was the name of the Camo X movie trivia show? The guy who knew everything. What was it? Jim White? You're talking about at, after, at dark? Jim, Jim White after dark? The big bumper? Things that go bump in that? I'm Bob Hamilton, KMOX News Time, 11.30. This is uh, Cardinals, Cardinals post-game show. That's Bob Hamilton. Do you guys know about This is very St. Louis. So if you're here just for St. Louis, sorry. Um, but this is what I do. I just kind of go through what people are talking about. Did you guys see today's birthday is Jimmy Kimmel? What happened to Jimmy Kimmel? What happened? Did you see him crying? He's 57 today, by the way. Um, I don't know if Howard's talked to him in a while. But uh, you should listen to Camo X from Toronto. I love Camo X. Camo X Radio. You know, I've never worked there. Almost did. Um, but they like a lot of ideas that I gave them. Like, I got to say that. <laughs> I mean, I gave them a lot of ideas back in the day. And they used them. I don't like when that happens. I got to be honest. Can I be honest with you? I don't like when that happens. You give somebody an idea and then they take it. And then they they're like, oh, look, look at us. Look at what we're doing. Anyway, I'm not reading uh, some of these here. But, uh, oh, thank you, Horzo. You like that video? I appreciate that. Uh, so if you're a member, uh, a member, I'm going to be doing some member-only videos coming up here because YouTube is uh, is telling us to do that. So I'm going to do some, so if you want to be a member, tell me what you want to see. I know we've got three members, maybe four or five. I have a lot of members. I don't know. And some of them are here right now. Uh <laughs> Freddie Freeman. I like the word fruit, by the way. That makes me laugh. It's also Whoopi, uh, Whoopi Goldberg's birthday, 69. I read an article today. She said that she doesn't have any money. She's 69 and she still has to do the view because she doesn't have any money. What the fuck did she do with all the money? Where did it all go? What was she thinking? Anyway, Jenna, happy birthday, Whoopi. <laughs> have you, this is a good story. I like this one. It seems like we got some mix of sports fans, Stern fans. This one, This one takes the cake. DraftKings is losing tons of money. The DraftKings. How? Now, if Las Vegas is built on people losing to the house, right? DraftKings has lost $250 million just this, just this football season because the people are better at betting than the house. So all these people can't go to Vegas and bet like against the Chiefs or the Raiders or whatever. But on DraftKings, two, they've lost $250 million. I love that story. I had a I have a, a play tonight. Do you guys do you guys play? Do you guys play? I have a play for tonight. What is my play for tonight? You know what I like? You know what I had this weekend? I you know, I actually was a friend of mine. I don't bet. Friend of mine, though, had a wonderful bet that he made and uh won on the last second of the Chiefs Bills game. <laughs> Chiefs Bills. And the Bills were up 30 to, to 11 or 31 to 10. That was the score, 31 to 10 against the Colts. What was the score, Brad? 31-13 was the score. I believe this person who made this bet did a teaser. Now, I'm sure if you're Stern fans, you know what a teaser is. You get to tease the, the spread a little bit. So this person had two other games where the tease worked out, but this last game was the Colts and the Bills. And the Bills... Scored a garbage touchdown with two seconds left. I'm sorry, the Colts. And they covered. <laughs> anyway, I would do a teaser tonight if I was you. Uh, Oklahoma City Thunder, the Brooklyn Nets, and the San Antonio Spurs. That's what I would do. And I would tease it six points if you can get it. And uh, I'd put four units on that. I don't know. I don't know units. I'm not good at that. But uh, I, I, if I was betting like about 25 bucks, you'd win 60. Uh, the payout would be 65 bucks. So you get the Spurs now at uh, three and a half instead of nine and a half. You get the Brooklyn Nets, move them from a, a eight and a half dog to a 14 and a half dog. And you get the Thunder, you bring them down playing uh, the Pelicans tonight. They only have to win by eight and a half instead of 14 and a half. I like that play if you're coming here for that. I'll be doing that. Singing lessons, hello. Uh, Pre-promotion. Was I doing some pre-promotion? I don't think I was. But I do like that clip with, higher, uh, with Gary Baba Booey. Baba Booey, Howard Stern. I did a little pre-promotion. Remember Eric the Midget uh, had a meet and greet of the San, San Sacramento Monarch, Monarchs game, Ross Dog Spirit said? How many people showed up to that? I can't remember. Zero point zero. Poor Eric. Uh, I'm just looking at my notes here. Oh, I like this Reddit commentary that they're having. Is it worse... 
on the Stern Show these days. Now, I don't listen, so just remember that. When uh, Howard and Robin talk sports, because they know nothing about it, or J.D. and Richard talk about it because they're just goofball uh, fans. What's worse? Anyway, I like Richard. Richard and I comment. Do you, know, do you guys know that? I'm talking to Richard Christie. I'm trying to get him on. We'll see. Uh, 0, 0.0, says Gonzo. Um, what other stories did I have? Good day in the stock market again. That's good, but I, I don't know if that's going to continue. And I'm a little frightened of what's going to happen. <laughs> I'm not frightened. I'm going to cry. I might cry about it. Uh, I'm just a little frightened. Let's see what else did I have. Uh, oh, let's go. Let's go and just see what's making news right now. I did want to do that because it's always fun. Let's just see. Let's just see. I like to see what's trending, and then we can talk about it. Maybe we get trending, right? We all get trending together, right? You haven't listened to since already left. Me neither, Ross. Yeah, Matt Gates, Tulsi Gabbard, cabinet positions. Yes. So that's what's trending, and um, well, well, that's what's going to happen. That's that's exciting. I'm not happy about what's trending. Let's just check Twitter. What's tweeting? I need to get off this now, right? I mean, that's just not for me. Matt Gates, you know, Pence. Jamie Lee Curtis is trending. What could that be? I like when she's uh, eating yogurt on uh, the Howard's, on the, uh, the uh, Saturday Night Live skit. Uh, so thank you again if you're just joining. We got a lot of folks in here saying hello. I'm wearing my Cardinals Bob Gibson jersey. Uh, hopefully the Cardinals can finish, you know, somewhere third, fourth. That'd be nice. You know, stick around that middle of the pack area. That's a good spot. That'll... That'll keep the folks coming in for the bobbleheads and, and such. Um, what, I talked about the NFL last week, college football. We, you know, I think it's funny, like, this playoff thing. You guys college football fans? Anybody? It's so hilarious. Like, oh, now a three. It's basically the SEC and Big Ten. Like, let's just call a spade a spade. We're going to make sure that the SEC and Big Ten are, uh, are represented in this playoff. And this weekend, do we have anything? We got Missouri taking on South Carolina. South Carolina should blow them out. Ohio State taking on Northwestern. Texas, Arkansas. I don't want to read this. I don't want to read these to you, but I will tell you, um, we'll see how this playoff goes. I like extra football. I like extra college football. I'm not real happy with the NFL. Um, let's see. You know, we've, we've gone a while here. We've gone over 30 minutes. We've got a nice crowd of people. Hi, Barney. How you doing? Hello. Welcome from Colorado, Utah. Oh, Colorado, Utah. That's a big game. Big game for the uh, Deion Sanders Team, I guess uh, you have to sort of win that game if you're Colorado, uh, if you want to be in the playoff. But uh, they are definitely certainly in the mix, I would say. As a Philly fan, I detested the Mill Thompson trade. Steve Lake, Kurt Ford. Did we, did we get, how do we get Mill Thompson, us Cardinals? You love Mill Thompson. Okay. Hi, Brad. Hello, it's my brother, Dylan. I'm not reading that. <laughs> You almost got me, you crazy whippersnappers out there. I'm not that dumb. I'm dumb, but I'm not that dumb. Uh, but happy birthday to Dildo. Happy birthday. Maybe I am that dumb. Did I tell you about the shirts? If you're just coming in, have you seen, have you gone to the Printify to see the shirts? Look at it. I took, it took me hours to make my Hey Now shirt. Hey Now. Welcome in. Welcome into the show. Thank you, everybody, for coming in. Hello. Go Bills. Dad, yeah, did you, Amy, Amy, did you hear me talking about the Bills? They won me some money. Thank, thankfully, I love garbage touchdowns. You know, I, my secret to gambling, I think, if you're a sports gambler, don't go with the public. Let's start with that. Try to tease as much as you can. Holy mackerel, Kevin Brennan has on movie legend Saint Frank Sebastiano. Ross, how are we doing out there? Everybody, listen to Sparky. He just never stops. He never stops. I was not the reason the A's left Oakland. We miss you, Eric the Midget. God, that sucks. I love the Oakland A's. By the way, I'm not going to put that out there. Oh, you know what? I might. Should I get Jose Canseco on the channel? I think I want Jose Canseco to be part of this show. Um, I'm going to do it blindly. I've never talked to Jose. Uh, I had Mark McGuire as a friend of mine. I'm Mark McGuire, and I'm going to show a picture. You know, I like pictures. I like showing things. I want to bet from uh, Mark McGuire one time. He did not believe that I knew that the day of his uh, home run was a Tuesday. I said, oh, no, it was a Tuesday night. He goes, no, it was a Monday. I said, Mark, this is definitely a Tuesday, September 8th, 1990. I'm, I'm a little autistic. I'm pretty sure. He goes, I'll bet you $100 that it was a Monday. I won that $100. Look at, it. Look at these two. Look at these two jacked. This is me and Big Mac right there, folks. 
That's a hundred dollar bill, a crisp hundred dollar bill out of Mark McGuire's wallet. I took that. I should have kept that. I think I spent it that day. Oh, this guy. You know, while we're going through the pictures, I keep pictures of my favorite baseball moments here. Look at that. Red shandings and me in a golf cart. I love the redhead. Good God, I love that man. And boy, I wish I still looked that handsome. What happened to me? I look like Rachel Maddow. I do like that. I do like that. Oh, here's me. This is one more. One more for the road, right? You always get do things in three. I shouldn't show this one. Let me just do it that way. Me and Al Roboski, the, the mad Hungarian. We're having fun. He's not. He's not happy. To, he's not happy to see me. But I love the mad Hungarian. What a good man. What a good man that mad Hungarian is. I got one more. I got this one's for Ross. All right. I don't, I don't know if you can really tell. That's Ozzy Smith and Whitey Herzog. That's Ozzy, and then Whitey is over there. This is like 2014. And they're driving me and my buddy Darren Patrick in a golf cart. That's Ozzy. Ozzy and Whitey driving Darren and Brad. <laughs> and I knew. Look at that, look at that red face. Like, yeah, that's Whitey and Ozzy driving me in a golf cart. <laughs> no Todd Worrell. No, I don't know if I have any Todd Worrell pictures in here. Do I got anything else? I think that's it with baseball. Oh, I got one more. I got one more. If we're playing a little little game here, Cardinal fans, right? So this is the starting outfield in 1996. Ray Lankford, Brian Jordan, and in center field, Brad. That's me. That's me with uh, Brian Jordan and, uh, <laughs> and Ray, Ray Lankford. You got the wrong Ray, they say. Anyway, we'll do more of that. You know, one time I made it on um, Hot Sports Chick. And uh, Bear, 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 the big cat. This this was a big fan. Uh, me and, this is before I got married. But uh, we were caught on television, me and my wife there. I was doing a little elbow boob. I have that video too, if you want to see it. I can't see the comments. Is that true? What's going on, Lance? Is everyone now? I mean, I got to change that if that's a problem because we do want people to see the other comments if you're not seeing the comments. But as you know, Lance, I do put these on uh, later in the form of, uh, of, a, of a show. But Andres Cararraga, never met him. Elbow boob for the win. Of course. I wonder how Howard feels about his declining influence. See, this is what I love about this chat. But I don't, Lance, I got to look into that, why you can't see the comments. I wonder, and you had seen them before, but now you can't see them. Huh. I can see them, though. I have this, uh, I have this up over here. So maybe, I don't know, if it's, maybe it's your thing, Lance. It's, uh, it's, I'm on my phone over here just checking to see if making sure everything's going right, and I see them over here. All right, so we've gone a good 40 minutes. We've had a wonderful day of conversation. I think I'm going to cut it right there. Uh, members, look for a new video coming your way if you're a member. If you're not, go ahead and sign up and be a member. We love that. Uh, super thanks and super chats before I go. Always exciting. Of course, I told you about the shirt, right? I showed you some pictures. We did a little show and tell. We had some fun today. We, I had some fun. I did. Today was not my favorite day. It's gross out. It's raining. You guys made my day. You did. <laughs> Except for Ken. Eh, Ken. We love people. Come on in. The water's warm here. We can say you can say stuff that you you don't like what what you what I'm doing here. That's what I like. I like people like, I don't like this. Why am I still here? Why am I watching this? I love that. Why? Why are you commenting? You're still here. <laughs> anyway, am I getting too close? Is that weird? Is that weird? Oh man, that's too close. That's too close, but that's the only way I can really see the comments if I get that far. Frank Sebastiano, that was the director of Beer League or writer. I need to get him on. You know, by the way, I did try to get some of those Beer League folks on. I had Jimmy Palumbo on, right? Maybe that's, I'll give you that, uh, Ross. Would you like to see an interview with Jimmy Palumbo? I'm going to put that in my, uh, as my membership. Hi, Barney. Hi there. Hello from UK. Oh, I love it. Ashley, have you been here before? I don't know. I was getting ready to wrap up. Um, Lance always says, wrap up. Get out of here while people just want more. So I will do this again. Subscribe. Turn those notifications on so you know when I'm coming on live. And we'll do this again. I'm not leaving yet. I don't have dinner yet. I'm hungry. But I don't have my... I don't have that dinner yet. Oh, gosh. I don't want it to... I don't want snow. It was so cold today. I don't like the winter. Do you like the winter? I don't like the winter. All right. Thank you all for coming by. Keep an eye on the... Uh, Oh, Sparky's good. Can't you hear him? He's up there just barking away. Sparky's just 
Nonstop needs attention. I'll have him on next time. I was gonna I was gonna bring him down here today, but he seemed comfy. Sparky, my uh, former uh, co-host, uh, best friend, and family dog, uh, in that order. He was first like I the way I met him was he, he was a great co-host. He's crying. If I if I really wanted to do this, I'd take you upstairs and see him, but we're not gonna do that. All right, uh, what else? Anything else? You guys have anything else you need from me? I'll stay. We can talk about Bob Gibson in 1968. I wish I would have seen him pitch. We can talk about Tom Worrell. Talk about that damn play at first base. Look at this. Look at this bullshit. Out by a mile, Dankinger. What were you thinking? Look, his foot's on the bag. Ball's in the glove. Have a great night. Talk to you all soon. Bye for now.